it's time for tech. And this one is quite interesting because a number of people might want to earn in dollars in a narrow economy. Now, that is quite big. Well, our topic today is how to become a DevOps engineer and earn in foreign currency without leaving Nigeria. We have Dari Ulufumilayo. Now, he's a self-trained tech enthusiast working in the public cloud space, helping organizations in Europe and the United States implement digital transformation projects through automation in the cloud. Dari, it is great to have you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's start from the very basic question. What exactly, what, you see, what, is, what is DevOps? What do you um, mean by DevOps? In simple terms, DevOps is a combination of development and operations. Mm. So, you know, in tech, the first thing you think about is developing software. Okay. But you have to also think about operating the software after it's been deployed to servers. And now that we have the cloud, mm. companies don't really think about having physical infrastructures anymore. Okay. So you want to have infrastructures in the cloud, okay? but you mm. have to operate that. So okay. DevOps has now become like a culture mm. in modern agile uh, organizations okay. where they are able to have people who understand both development and, and operations together, which makes them much more agile. Um, you know, you can imagine you're able to respond to business changes and, hmm. and have quick and quality software released to your customers. What do you need to be a DevOps engineer to start earning in foreign currency? A lot. Basic requirements. <laughs> well, a lot in the sense that um, DevOps comes with its own challenges because you okay. have to learn uh, a lot of tools. Hmm. You have to be skilled at Linux, uh, work on... Um, a set of tools that enables automation, okay? Understand security, understand networking, you know, all those kind of things are, are things you have to understand. It takes a certain steep learning curve, all right? But um, most people who become DevOps engineers are either from software development, development. background, okay. sysadmin background, you know, that kind of thing. But what we help people to do is okay. to actually become that regardless if they were from any of these backgrounds. Background, yeah. what, so how long does this process take now? How do you do it? How long does it take to become a DevOps engineer? So, so all that matters is experience okay. and hands-on uh, learning. Okay. Uh, in contrary to how a lot of people see IT where you have to study to earn certifications, mm. we focus on projects that you have to implement to help you then gain the skills. So, okay. so okay. what we've done is to okay. put together a number of projects. So at the moment it's 30, you know, okay. completing all the 30 projects literally gives you two years worth of experience. Okay, right. so can you give us an example of what a project like that you talk about would seem like or what it would, what it would look like? So it's, it's actually um, a, a well-written, documented um, blog post, if you like. Okay. okay. Think of think of a, a blog post that has instructions, helps you to understand a, 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 a typical business problem, okay. and then helps you to go through the thought process to dissecting that, and then putting it down into implementation. So we put code snippet um, diagrams and uh, pointers to other resources that you need to go through to get you understand. So, but what we then do is to take it from the basics and gradually make it a lot more complex. And as you go along, they all rely on each other. So for example, you can't really do project 10 if you haven't done project eight, nine, nine. Okay. that kind of thing. Um, now, know. okay, so now the question I should ask is, what, what, is there any requisite knowledge, somebody who comes to Darido.io, is there anything they need to know? Can just somebody who doesn't have any knowledge of automation or IT just come in, is there any, a basic requirement that you need for somebody who wants to start learning like this? Yes, there is. What's, what's that basic requirement? And that is interest. Interest? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interest. So okay. We have a lot of people from law, accounting, a completely different field that becomes this. As a matter of fact, I don't come from a tech background. I studied marketing. So you can imagine... You are, you are, are, you are, are you here with your tech bro, with your glasses and all that? <laughs> exactly. So, so it's not like you need to have technical background or anything like that. But mm. as long as you have the interest, 
you have the perseverance because it's not going to be easy. Okay. It, it doesn't come, it's not a walk in the park, yeah, you will face some challenges, but that's where the Diary.io platform comes okay. in because well, you have access to support. To those, to those. Yeah. So all they need to do is hit you up. How do they hit you up? Absolutely. So they come to our websites, they reach out to our support, they, they can go to our Instagram and, and, and all that, you know, and, and that's it, really. It's all at Diary.io. I like that. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you very much. It, it sounds really, you know, Mind boggling, but like you said, the most important thing is interest. Once Absolutely. they get the interest, they hit you up and they can get it. Thank Absolutely. you very much. And uh, here's uh, wishing you the best. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, let's head over and see what's happening right in the kitchen. <laughs>